This is a download from BBC Learning English. To find out more, visit our website. Six Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com Hello and welcome to Six Minute English. I'm Rob. And hello, I'm Neil. Hi there, Neil. Now, have you ever had a close encounter with a monkey or an ape? Well, I am sitting next to you, Rob. <laughs> Very funny. No, Neil is referring to the fact that all humans are descended from apes, and apes and monkeys belong to a group of animals called primates. The difference is that monkeys have tails and apes don't. Well, I didn't know that.、Uh, on a serious note, I had a close shave with some monkeys once in Bali. A close shave is where you only just manage to avoid a dangerous situation. So, Neil, what happened? I was walking up a mountain on my own, and suddenly a bunch of monkeys jumped out of nowhere, blocking my path. Oh, goodness. OK, a y so what did you do? After standing there for ages while the monkeys screeched at me, I turned around and walked back the way I came. OK, a y if you screech at someone, it means to make a loud, high, and unpleasant sound. So the monkeys won that face off then?、Mm, absolutely, yes, they did. And a face off, by the way, means an argument or fight. Well, today's show is about gibbons and the different sounds they make. Gibbons are small apes that live in Southeast Asia. And while Neil's monkeys screech unpleasantly, gibbons sound like they're singing. Musical apes, that's nice. <laughs> so, how about today's quiz question, Rob? OK, a y good idea. How far can a gibbon's voice travel through the forest? Is it A, 500 metres? B, one kilometer, or C, five kilometers?、Mm, well, I have to guess, and I'm going to say B, one kilometer. You've never heard one? Never heard one. OK, a y well, we'll find out later in the program whether you're right or wrong. Now let's listen to what a gibbon really sounds like. Let's just hear this. That, that's a, an absolutely wonderful, evocative sound, sound, isn't it? Beautiful、yes. sound. And what are they doing there then? That, that is, I said talking to each other. Well, this is this, they're singing together. So, a male and a female, when they hold a territory together, will sing every morning what they call a duet.、Um, really? All the groups in a s u r r o u n d i n g What we call a duet. Yes. <laughs> quite... Absolutely. And they'll all、um, sing together at the same time, and the whole forest will be alive with this cacophony of, of song. So, the gibbons make an evocative sound. If something is evocative, it brings strong feelings or memories to mind. And something that is evocative is usually pleasant, Rob.、Mm, it is. And what's also interesting is that the apes are singing in pairs, one male and one female. They are singing duets together. So a duet is a song sung by two people, or in this case, sung by two gibbons.、Mm, and a lot of gibbons are singing duets at the same time, which Dr. Clark describes as a cacophony. Cacophony means a mix of loud noises which often sound out of tune.、Mm, and that could easily describe us singing together.、Mm, let's not, <laughs> let's but, not do that. But what's the reason for the gibbon duet, Neil? Well, the songs advertise the relationship between the male and the female, and they also help to make clear which territory or bit of land belongs to a pair or group of gibbons. Gibbons also use different sounds to alert or warn other gibbons about danger from predators. These are animals that eat other animals. The gibbons use a quiet hoo hoo call to communicate that a leopard is nearby, and an even quieter hoo hoo call for an eagle. <laughs> You're very good at that, Thank Rob.、You. Now let's hear more from Dr. Clark about this. How does he describe language? Yes,、yeah, so the idea is that.、Um, If we find things like context specific calling in non human primates, it suggests that way back in time,、uh, the ancestor that we shared with them also had context specific calling. So basically, it just gives us some clues to the evolutionary roots of complex com communication like language. Dr. Clark says that if we go far enough back in time, humans and other primates, such as monkeys and apes, have the same ancestor. Right, and ancestor means an animal or human from the past that a modern animal or human has descended from. So, if this common ancestor used context specific calls, like modern gibbons, then it could have passed on this ability to humans a long time ago. 
context-specific calling means different calls for different situations. For example, one call for leopard and another for eagle. Mm, and evolutionary means a gradual process of change or development. OK, a y well, let's have the answer to the quiz question. Earlier, I asked, how far can a gibbon's voice travel through the forest? Is it A, 500 metres, B, 1 kilometre, or C, 5 kilometres? And I said B, 1 kilometre. And you were right. A good guess. Ah, or perhaps good. you do know a lot about gibbons. So, well done. Now, can we hear today's words again, maybe in a gibbon's voice, Neil? Uh, not sure about that. I'll do it in a human voice. OK. Primates. A close shave. Screech. Face off. Gibbons. Evocative. Duet. Cacophony. Territory. Alert. Predators. Ancestor. Evolutionary. Thank you. Well, that's the end of today's Six Minute English. You can hear more Six Minute English programmes on our website at bbclearningenglish.com. Please join us again soon. Goodbye. Bye. Six Minute English from the BBC.